Hello, so in the span of 10 minutes of recording the last video, part 2, we have managed to get this chimney clean and some of the pipes clean. So, what I'm going to focus on is now, as you can see, it doesn't go round properly, it gets stuck around there, and it spins well. So, I will be taking the bearing in probably part four, but first I want to focus on getting down here. Well, we've got to be careful of these two things, our pipes. So, here we go. And as you can hear, we do hit the pipes, but then I just wipe some of the. Just need to get right down there. So it's starting to clean up. I think I just hit the camera, but um, starting to clean up. But it's a pain to get there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to flip this thing over. Not as bad, but as you can see, grease. A bit of grease on also. Just gonna put that wipe out. As you can see, look, pure orange. Now it will need a repaint. As you can see, some of the paint is coming off. And I'm using the soft side, so I shouldn't. Right, all that orange thick grease is off. It's not actually that bad on the so focus back on top. As you can see, I've had a lot of oil come off. Now, I'll wipe some of that off my hand. And then, what we're gonna, I think what we should do now is... Go up and down. As well as doing the firebox, I'm also doing the work here from the previous one as far as So, it would have been annoying because we were using this one earlier, and if we were doing that, while it was spinning, it would have constantly hit the pipes. You don't know what to do that. Also, that needs to be tightened as well. So. I think so. Let's carry on here. So I've got to be very careful. What I'll do first though is I'll put some lemon and salt, bit some lemon and salt on the because that can help. That cleans up it. And what we'll do, turn, get rid of the spray of it. Then, right there. See all the dirt. Feel tiny holes appearing. Actually, from where I am, it smells really nice. Okay. Actually, this thing is getting a bit hot, but mm, shouldn't worry then. Give that one point. That in some, just wipe that over. So this, um, so the little video I uploaded like thirty seconds long, yes, today, is um, only it was filmed yesterday, but um, for in case of confusion, that's why I'm just clarifying that because it all likes because I'm filming it all today. That's so, right. I probably said up my words there. What I was trying to say is I filmed it yesterday and then I uploaded it today. 
and I'll probably try and make it into a series or a playlist for me to go. Alright, keep going. Quite hot there. It's actually worn away some of the rust over there, so I want to be careful. Okay, just slow this down. It's actually starting. It's giving off some smoke, so yeah, but it's making progress gradually, as you can see. Just, get... just wipe it over. Now, what we've worked out is at the front. That is an indent. It's just lost. Just cut it around, so it's just wipe off. So. You can see actually wiping over the p piston is making it more shiny, but I'm not too focused on that for now. What I am so worried about is we have a loose, it was loose, but I've tightened it so it's probably had a loose screw there. That's quite loose as well. But I'll give this a rest. This is going to be a shorter video than all the others due to the tool is starting to get really hot. So I'll see you in the next video.